So I was a kid once. That was a long time ago. What a way to start a video. But yes, I was a kid too, and yeah, my, my parents hated me too. They got me this. Not, th not this exact one. Something like, I hated this. So a quick show of hands. Did you have one of these? Did you like it? Are you excited for today's video? I don't know why I put up a poll and allowed you to vote for this. Why do you hate me so much? As far as I remember of these sets, they were impossible to use. The markers never worked, the pencils were... I don't think I ever used the paints, probably because they were toxic. This is gonna be fun. So I've been a professional artist for the last 10 plus years. I have access to some of the best products on the market, but I think today I'm gonna be humbled pretty hard. It doesn't want me inside of it, so... That's obviously... What? That's obviously a sign I shouldn't be using it. I'm in. Get off me. I would, what? How much did this cost? I don't know how much it cost, but what is that? It has hinges. Why am I so excited about hinges? Nice. Okay, this isn't cheap. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Since when were these boxes of such high quality? This is seriously something impressive. Wait, is it, there's, got, there's gotta be more, right? Stop. We didn't have this when I was young. Go away. Dude, it comes with brushes as well. It's good wood. I don't even know where to start. Wow, these are those things that we all had as... Mm. Look at that thing, does that bring back memories? Disgusting. Mm, doesn't smell. So I'm not looking forward to using this, but actually this entire set looks amazing. Pencils, yeah they feel pretty cheap. I mean, the pencils, it really holds on to stuff though. When you put it in there, it stays in there. It's good. We got a sharpener. Oh, I broke it. Why is this? Acrylic paints. I gotta say, I didn't expect that. Why does this feel like such high quality? This isn't cheap. I'm not sad, I'm just disappointed. That's probably not a good idea. Okay, so quite clearly this is not your average children's art set. In fact, I don't even think this is for children. This is really good. Actually, it just looks good. But can it perform? It's not small, is it? Hi. Okay, so we're gonna dive into this kit right now. I'm gonna be using every single thing that is supplied with this kit and only what is supplied with this kit. Please be good. And I'm gonna be doing free, free different people. <laughs> Different pieces of artwork here today. I hope you do enjoy. Let's have a look. Got some manga paper. Got no place to put ya. This is gonna go well. The perfect place. Okay. Oh, interesting. Get out of here. Starting off with the broken sharpener. Oh, comes with a 2B and a 4B, and these feel really good actually. I like the little white tip on the end. Stick it in there. You'd have to be really skilled to land it in there. Challenge accepted. Does it never end? I think we're just gonna go until it breaks. You didn't just... We got pretty far. It's a magnetic pencil. Look at it going crazy. So today I'm gonna to do a run of some original characters and maybe a childhood classic, uh, starting with my own character, Bob. And this pencil is... Um... It's a pencil. So I wasn't expecting this pencil to be any different, if I'm honest. 
Pencils are one of those things that I just don't see the value in spending a lot of money on. If you're going to be using the pencil as a base sketch, you're going to be using markers later on, or maybe painting, or something. You don't need a fancy pencil. You don't need something that's expensive. And even if you do buy an expensive one, you probably won't notice much of a difference. Is there a difference? Yes. A little bit of it. I know I'm going to anger a lot of people who do portraits right now. If you're doing portraits, different market. Shh. But I would always say, go for the cheapest pencils you can find. It doesn't matter. It's what I do. And I'm a professional. If you are wondering what it is that I'm drawing right here as well, this is a character of my own design. This is Bob. You know Bob. You see him all the time. Are you kidding me? The pencil's wobbling, but it's not broken. Okay. Fine. Pencil's better at holding it together than I am. My phone fell over and I jumped. I mean, this is... Just, just break. Just let it go, man. It's fine. This is silly. Moving on to the darker pencil. I don't agree that these pencils are the right gradient that they're marked as. That being said, I do like this one. I love the way this pencil feels. So the pencils yeah, they're, they're pencils, and apparently this one's indestructible. Oh, now it falls up. Okay. The secret to destroying the lead is breaking the pencil in half. The more you know. Oh, ha, ha. The block of cheese. It's just it's not a good eraser. Okay, so the eraser's pretty bad. I'm just gonna use it to erase some of these rough marks, and oh, now it works. Oh, okay. Oh wow, now it really works. Whoa! <laughs> what? This eraser is just completely removing the lines. How are you doing this? Seriously, this may be the best eraser I've ever used. I'm gonna keep you. You are, you're gonna be useful one day. Why am I holding you? All right, so next up we're gonna use the markers and I, I don't wanna do this, but I have to. This should be good. I mean, this is probably gonna be incredible, right? Let's see. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Ah, uh, this is, this is bad. Okay, so we've discovered the kids section of this. Um, why do these pens exist? Trying to think of something really nice to say here, and there's nothing. They're like they're tiny, they're uncomfortable in your hand. Like, look at this! I don't have big hands, right? I have look at my hand. It's a nice size. It's a, it's a handy hand. It's good. It works as a hand. It's fine. Stop insulting my hands. They're fine. But like, it's so small. Can I make it bigger if I just do that? Or oh, that sort of works. It's a little bit. It's not comfortable. It's kind of comfortable, but. I've got nothing nice to say about it. <laughs> this isn't working. This isn't, this isn't good. Why do these art sets do this? Okay, so water-based markers, they're awful. I, I'm sorry. I don't think that they're good in any way. There's nothing, I don't like them. I think if you're gonna use a water-based product, then use watercolors. I think that water-based markers just serve zero purpose. I know somebody's gonna get really angry at me right now and it's fine. Come at me, bro. I don't like them. I'm on team alcohol markers all day. These things, why do they exist? Now granted these are felt markers and felt markers are, I mean, I, I don't know. Are they felt markers? I've, I'm gonna call them felt markers. Cause that's the, that's the nicest word I can think of there. <laughs> what was I, ex oh, what was I expecting from this? I mean, it's really don't wanna continue this. That's not a good sign, is it? 
Put that in your sales pitch. These markers are designed to ruin your child's motivation to be an artist. The best thing you can do with them is throw them at a wall. I can't, I wanted to throw it, but it, it, it's so small they fell out my hand. It's. <laughs> my back clicked, I'm getting way too old. Suppose I should find out if they blend. Oh, what is that? Well, that, well, that's ruined it, hasn't it? Ah, uh, it's just, it, it's gone bad. This is the next gradient up. It's, oh my goodness me. I give up. Don't look at me like that. You know this, like, look at this. I can't quit, can I? Uh, what about the pencils? You run out of ink? Hello? Do I need a darker pencil? Get black. Just use black on something. I don't. I've got nothing to use. I'll use it here. Ah. Sorry, I had a breakdown. At a halfway point, let's review. Pencils, good. Eraser, amazing. Colored pencils and markers. I don't know how they continue to get away with this. The scariest part is I'm actually considering going outside because I feel like these paints are gonna be toxic. The watercolor, what? Oh, that's just great. Some of the paints are watercolor and some of them are acrylic. Oh, yeah. And some of them are oil. I'm actually scared. <laughs> it really took me that long to realize. How have I made it this far as an artist? <laughs> kind of regret breaking this, now I need to use it. I was complaining about this being too small. This is not only the same size as this, and now it stabs me. It seems like I make nothing but bad decisions. I'm not using this, this thing's deadly. It doesn't come with a palette, what am I supposed to? I got a plate. Okay, I'm gonna color in this, 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 oh, I did that one already. This page, nope. This page, nope. This page, no. Absolutely not. Randomly chosen penguin, parrot. It's been a day. What colors are penguin? Not penguins. I think I'm gonna start by seeking help. Watercolor, there you go, that works perfectly fine. Cool. Now, as we established in my previous video, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I think that was, I think I was supposed to do that. So is that enough? I'm gonna put more. Nice and crunchy. Am I supposed to do that? I feel like I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> the heck is all that? Here we go. The first stroke is the hardest. So let's just see what happens. Um, boom. Nothing's moving. I'm not an artist. I'm not a watercolor artist, so I, I can't. Oh, it's getting, it's moving better. Look, it's moving. It dries instantly. This is, how am I supposed to keep up with this speed? The f is that smell? Oh, they, ah, am I gonna die? I feel dizzy. Probably gonna get no air. You know what it smells like? Bad. I can't do this. This is really bad. I need a mask or something. I'm gonna get a mask. I don't have a mask. Oh, I like blue watercolor. Not as much as the yellow. The red one was kind of bad, but the brown one was just as worse. The green one is kind of cool. Cause it reminds me of Shrek. You know, I haven't actually decided where the light source is coming from. I'm just kind of going with it. That's what I like about watercolors is I don't care. I don't care about any of it. And I think if you accept that you're either new to something, you don't know what you're doing, it's a great chance to experiment and have a good time. You know, when you pick up a medium for the first time, everyone's rushing to become the best of a medium. You're looking at tutorial videos, you're trying to figure out what you need to do. 
Why? Why not just try? Just have fun. Put on some music, put on... I've got no music right now, I'm making my own. But do something. Distract yourself. Have a good time with it. It doesn't have to be serious. If it doesn't look good, who cares? Look at me. I'm a professional artist. Sometimes. And here I am making a fool of myself with terrible artwork. I feel like this is a really long video. I've been sat here for hours just suffocating. Right, I'm done with the watercolors. I can't take it anymore. Oh, oh, oh. I just flooded my, my paint palette. We're gonna skip the acrylic. We're gonna go straight to the oil. I'm not getting any crazy smells just yet. No. I shouldn't be sniffing it. I just realized this is my first ever time using oils. I've never used an oil paint before. So this is the first time ADC, we're not gonna use this brush. We're gonna use a new brush. It's the first time I've ever used, we got there in the end, oil paints. I'm gonna not use water. I've never seen Bob Ross using water. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. It's like ketchup. All right, blue, go. Okay, I'm gonna try and mix on the canvas. Oh wow, it doesn't even get wet. It's completely immune to my water powers, okay. I'm probably really ignorant here. I mean, I'm using a brush that is way too large, but I'm gonna say, I think this would be easy. I don't know if these are good, I don't know if they're bad, but I think I can do this. I think I found a new thing. Right, so if I mix the, I mean, the blue, how do you clean the brush then? Because like the water doesn't do anything. So we've got some pink. So I can definitely see when you're using oil paints, you're gonna to wanna to do your line work later. I don't think doing your line work first is a good idea because it covers the lines instantly. And my brush is falling apart. Hold it together, man. Is it because I said it was easy? What kind of scam is this? My brush is falling apart. I can't use it. Can I use water on this? I'm gonna try. Oh, that just ruined it. What is that? I actually love these oil paints. I'd love to get my hands on professional grade watercolors and really compare these because I like this. I did the wrong cut. I'm gonna move on to the next thing. I've had enough torture. That's a lie, I actually really like it. All right, I'm gonna try the acrylics for just like the smallest amount of my patience. I'm gonna use this color because it's a really, don't even know. Viridian green, it looks really pretty. Whoa, very liquidy. This is the acrylic and it's like just, it's liquid, it's water. This isn't gonna work. Hang on a minute. It's not bad, it's not bad. Look at that, like it's fine. It's, you know what? Acrylics, they're fine. The oils, they're pretty good. And the watercolors, no. We're gonna move on to the final thing, which is the, um, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, to be honest. This is the thing I'm dreading. I hate sticks. I hate anything in stick form. Chalk, pastels, oil pastels. I hate these things. I just, I wanna bite it, but I know if I bite it, I'll die. So I'm not gonna bite it. What the heck is this? I, I think it's just a wax crayon. I don't know what's worse, this or the pencils. If, they, if this can blend, I'll actually give it some points. It... Why? Why? What is the purpose of a crayon? Why do we use crayons? It's wax, it doesn't work. What, why do crayons exist? Can anyone tell me why these things exist? Are they there just to torture people? What about some pencils? Let's uh... I've never, ever, ever seen pencils this bad in my life. All right, I'm gonna push really hard here, intentionally, and see if we can actually get any color out of this pencil. So, yeah, maximum effort. Gosh, that's really bad. Well, that wasn't fun. Please stop buying these. If there's one message that I can get across from today's video, it's that these things are a waste of money. The only thing that these products will bring to your life is a demotivation for artwork. Your child will lose interest in art and you will lose interest in art. I know it sounds like an amazing thing, having a great variety of art supplies to try and test and see if you like them, but not a single one of these items work. That's not true, the pencil does, but I broke it. Oh, and the eraser, it's really good. I know it sounds like you're getting a great deal here, but at the price that these things generally cost and the quality of the products you're getting, 
there are better alternatives. Oh, I hate these things so much. Now to go wrap this up and give it to my nephew as a Christmas gift. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you had yourself a wonderful time. And if you would like to check out my previous video where I used watercolors and pink for the first time. Not, well, not pink, I've used pink, but I used watercolors for the first time. There's a video right there, you should click. I hope that that works. Is it working or am I just pointing off to the distance and there's nothing there? That'd be embarrassing. Bye.